What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. And I provide simple, realistic ways to achieve your financial goals in today's economy. I just wanna jump into what I consider to be a public service announcement. Cause I came in very heavy this year with content around saving and the future and planning and all this, that, and the third with spreadsheets and all of these great things that you can use for the rest of the year and for multiple years to come, to be perfectly honest with you. I've created some things that can help you plan out 10 plus years in the future, but I want you to understand something very fundamental and simple about saving. It's a very good tool. It's something that can keep you very safe and very financially secure, but it will not, and I mean it will not, make you rich by itself. There's other things you've gotta do instead to set yourself up to become rich in the future, but just saving ain't gonna do it by itself. And that's even if you save only into a high yield savings account. Because at the end of the day, 4% or 4.5% is the highest I've seen it, is not going to have life changing results when it comes to the money. It's gonna have good results. It's gonna put more money in your pocket, but it's not necessarily gonna be something that you look up at and say, wow, I've seen exponential growth over the years. It's gonna take a very long time to see exponential growth with 4% plus. And you have to keep in mind that high yield savings accounts are not necessarily gonna stay at the same percentage. I've seen the same high yield savings account that I have today, back when the pandemic started going crazy, it was at like 1%. I'm pretty sure it was lower than 1% at one time. Then it went up a little bit, little bit, and now it's up to 4.5%, which is very good. But I'm just saying, saving by itself is not gonna necessarily get you to where you need to get to. This is why I talk about investing so much. And you know what? Next week, I'm making a big comprehensive investing video just so you can see exactly what I mean. But I will give you a sneak peek in the next week. I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but you know, sometimes it just goes like that. When you start investing though, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Because something as simple as a 401k that everyone talks to you about when you first start your career, unfortunately school doesn't really go in too heavy on the 401k. I didn't even learn what a 401k was until after I graduated from college, but that's besides the point. I've seen a very big return on my 401k. And then of course there's the Roth IRA, which I talk way more about that in my video where I show you how to invest your first $1,000. That video did better than pretty much all of my investing videos that I've ever made combined. And I highly recommend you watch that because it was about good and about informational. But next week we're about to take it to a whole different level. And while we're on the topic of investing, if you're interested, I do have a free investing guide linked in the description, but I also have an investing course that you can sign up for right now. It is available. You can check that out and get access down in the description. But now that we got all that out of the way, I wanna talk about this. You might see a return of 0.05% from your bank account when you're saving. You might see 4.5% from your high yield savings account. And this is per year, APY. What if I told you it's possible to see an average of 10%, 12%, 13%, 20% per year that compounds. And then on top of that compounding, there's dividends that get paid to you. And then each time the stocks or the funds grow, the dividend is more because the dividend is a percentage of how much each share costs. You see right now, I'm, I'm putting a heavy emphasis on this because I didn't understand the impact of investing like I do now, eight years ago. And if I did, I probably would have invested sooner and I probably would have had a lot more money in my pocket than I do right now. And I'm not complaining about my circumstances, I'm just letting you know. If you're watching this video right now and you're thinking that saving money is the way to get to where you wanna to get to, I'm telling you, it'll it's a good start. It's a great way to start with financial security, but it is not the only way. Even if you had 50 grand in your pocket right now, how long is that gonna last you? And I had to think about it because when I first started my career, I had all these plans as I was making good money. I was working a lot of overtime. I was learning my job. I was getting my footing, right? And I was like, man, I'm gonna use this money to do this. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna save my first 20 grand and then I'm gonna save 30, then 40, then 50. And then, you know, one of my mentors was like, whoa, 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 I'm glad you're saving, I'm glad you're making good money. But uh, you do know that saving is not gonna make you rich, right? 
I was like, huh? He was like, yeah, it's, it's not going to make you rich. You can't be out here just saving and, and penny pinching every little thing. That's not going to work. That's not going to get you to where you're saying you want to get to. Because what I was saying was I wanted to retire by age 30 and blah, 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 blah. And by the way, I'm getting awfully close to 30. So I should probably hurry up on that on that plan I had there. But anyway, he told me that saving wasn't how you get there. And he didn't know much about like stock investing or anything like that. He just knew that I would have to build another stream of income of some sort to help me get to where I wanted to get to, which required investing in myself, not necessarily stocks. But I say that to say, but, but I tell you that to make this point here. I didn't know that it was possible to get very big returns. Like for example, right now, and I'm gonna put screenshots for proof, okay? But my stock account with Weeble is up 70 point something percent right now. My Roth IRA is up 40 something percent right now. My 401ks are up a lot too. Like within last year, it was like 21.2%. And this is not saying anything to brag. I'm just letting you know it's possible to invest in a few simple things that you understand, which I show you how to do in my course. And if you don't want to buy the course, also in these YouTube videos. And based off of those few simple things, they've had massive returns. And that's what puts money into your pocket. And that was how I was able to save my first $100,000 by age 28, which I made a video about a few weeks ago. But do you see what I'm saying? It's, it's not just about saving and being able to flex like, yeah, I have 30K in my savings account. Yeah, but it ain't growing though. I used to be in that literal exact situation, having 20 something, 30K or whatever in, in my bank account but it wasn't really moving. There's nothing wrong with having that, but I think it's also important to have a plan when it comes to investing your money into other things and letting them grow in different areas. And I also think it's important to invest in yourself, read certain books, take certain classes, increase your value, and then increase your skill set so that you could then command more money because that at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. That's what we work so hard for. That's what we grind so hard for every single day, day in and day out, losing sleep, waking up, reaching for that morning coffee. But the money that we get from doing all that hard work, it's not just to sustain your lifestyle, it's also to fuel your passions and your hobbies on the side too. And so obviously the more money you're able to get, the better, right? So why not take the money that you do have and fuel it towards something that's going to make it grow like investing in stocks and then literally just let it grow because the time's going to go by anyway and if you never even look into investing you would be astonished at the opportunities that you miss just from not investing during certain time periods like for example 2020 was a big opportunity I'm not saying that it'll never happen again in our lifetime but that was a huge opportunity and so if you weren't able to invest then you might look at stocks now and be like, man, those are expensive. But back then they weren't all that expensive, but that was right when everybody was too scared to invest. So ain't nobody really buy nothing like that. And the ones who did saw big returns. You get what I'm saying? So instead of buying a bunch of expensive things anyway, cause we all spend money. It's like a daily activity around here. Why not spend some of it on something that can make your money grow? Saving is cool. Get your savings right and then invest. I'm not saying don't save, but I just wanna make it clear where I stand on saving. I love it, and that's what most of this channel is actually based on. That's what helped blow this channel up, was talking about frugal lifestyle and frugal living and saving money. But at the end of the day, is that going to make you rich? No, it will not, but it is helpful and it is a useful thing for you to do. So while you're on your wealth journey, make sure you make time for investing and check out my video I have coming out next week. Click the links in the description if you want more information, whether that's the free investing guide, the investing course that I have that is now available, or if you just wanna watch a related video to this one, all of them are down there in the description. Anyway, I gotta get to it. But thank you so much for watching this video. It's always fun sitting down making these videos for you because I know at the end of the day, they're gonna add value to your life. Let me know if you have any video ideas or any questions down in the comments. And at some later time, I'll probably make a video about it. Also stay tuned for what I post on Patreon. I'm gonna start posting exactly what I do with each of my paychecks per year. So at the end of each month, maybe even at the end of every paycheck that I get, I'll just break down what I'm doing with it. Just to add as a guide to 
you know, and give you inspiration as far as what you could do with some of your paychecks. It's not me advising you to do what I do. It's just, hey, this is what I do. Check it out. And if you see something that you like, you can take from it, you know? Why not? Anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth that I provide simple realistic ways to achieve your financial goals in today's economy hope you enjoyed the video leave a like hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and i will see you in the next video